So I gotta take out the sentries, of which there are three. Okay, let me see if I can get around the other way. Try to take them out. Oh, I can. Okay. Well, I mean, you're dead. <laughs> Got to get the other sentry over there. And B? Alright, one sentry. Got to get the other one. He's like over here somewhere. He's making his rounds, man. Oh. Hey, buddy. This way. This way. We gotcha. So that's a sentry too? Hey dude. Just chilling, you know? I mean those guys won't see, right? Oh fuck yes. Oh there's another sentry out there. I gotta take him out. Okay. Oh, nice. He just kind of chills here. I mean, you guys shouldn't even really see anything, right? I didn't find shit. We're gonna have another firefight in here. What do you think George will do if he finds out all our dealers are getting hit? He'll kill Richie for sure. Probably Charlie and Merle too. This is actually pretty cool how they just separate. I can take them out like one by one. Huh. Come on, you know you want to come over here. Then once I'm done, just pump those guys full of lead. Yeah, everybody's saying, like, these missions... I'm, I'm assuming the missions are going to be like this. Like, they're going to be super repetitive, but... The gameplay is, like, so fun. Hopefully, it's not going to be like that. But, I mean, if the levels are different... And there's just kind of, like, a lot of variety in it, even though the gameplay is going to be essentially the same... I think I'll be okay with it. Y'all settled on a name here? We think about Thomas Lee after my old man. It's got a nice ring to it. This shit with us getting hit doesn't get settled. My boy might wind up being named something else. Nah, I won't come with that. Help me out of here! I just take you out? First? Okay. So that's what we gotta do. Wait, I gotta hold it, right? I didn't want to do this shit! We're done here. I guess I have to sign this to Cassandra, because Cassandra's like my only lieutenant. I'll have some of my men come right over. And thanks. And Cassandra's going to be taking it over this entire territory. I mean, that was the deal, right? State your name for the record. Donovan. John. Mr. Donovan, you understand that by appearing before this committee, you have explicitly waived your constitutional rights in regards to counsel and self-incrimination. Sure. And you further acknowledge that by appearing before this committee, you agree to disclose all information pertaining to the events that occurred in New Bordeaux during the summer and fall of 1968. <laughs> I wouldn't be sitting here if I didn't. You were an operative in the Central Intelligence Agency from 1953 to 1969, is that correct? That's right. When did you arrive in Vietnam? August of 1961. Please describe for this committee the actions you took during your time in Vietnam. I spent a couple months in Saigon, 
and then I was transferred to a base in Laos that was operated by the Special Activities Division. We trained and equipped the Hmong and then turned them loose on the NVA. We're running arms and supplies via the Ho Chi Minh Trail. And you worked with Lincoln Clay in what eventually became the Phoenix Program. Within a year or so, Lincoln was heading up his own PRU. We'd cross over into Vietnam and locate enemy targets and either kill them or bring them back for interrogation. <laughs> Just thinking about it? Jesus Christ. You wouldn't believe the shit we did to those cocksuckers. Kill Richie Doucette. Story mission unlocked. Awesome. Wait, increased accuracy for all firearms? Oh, nice. I mean, my aim wasn't that bad, but I mean, increased accuracy would be like total boss. So we're going to be talking to Cassandra Pentagast from Dragon Age Inquisition. No, not really. We're talking to Cassandra. I don't even know what her last name is. What is her last name? I don't know. <laughs> this man's name is Jesse. We were just having ourselves a little conversation about Richie Doucet. Listen, I ain't done nothing, you hear? I don't know anything. I, I was just taking a walk and walking down the street and, and she scrammed me is all. You a Dixie Mafia? No. Yes. I mean, shit. I did it for the money, you hear? I, I ain't got nothing personal against y'all. I don't even carry a gun. Where's Doucet? He's... He's out at the abandoned amusement park to the west of here. Banned Saturdays? What the hell is he doing out there? From what I heard, it's because you've been tearing things up. And Georgie, Georgie's on a goddamn warpath. He wants Richie dead. So Richie, he grabbed what was left of the heroin and took off. Said he was gonna lay low until he could settle things with Georgie. How many men he got with him? Hell, I don't know. All of them. Hand me that knife. No, no, please. No, I ain't done nothing to y'all. Please, I, I'm begging you. My mama, my papa. Go on, get. He could want to do set. He ain't no threat to nobody. Let him run back home to his mama. If you wrong, there'll be hell to pay. Story mission, prey on the way up. So it looks like we gotta go to, uh, you know, we, we gotta go to a, an abandoned amusement park. Baron Saturdays. Where's my car? I forgot where I parked. This is it! Baron Saturdays Fun Park. Look at that. What, what dude is that? He's wearing a little top hat and pants. Of course he's wearing pants. Whoa, this is flooded. Oh, this looks cool. I, I need to find the wiretap, so give me a second, guys. All I'm saying, can't be letting some motherfucker just stroll in and fuck our shit up like that. It's pretty cool how this place is flooded. It reminds me of that one area in... Actually, weren't there like multiple areas in Fallout 4 where everything was flooded? All of those had a ton of zombies. Or ghouls, I mean. Look at that, even... Even the roller coaster looks like it's messed up, even though I don't think it really is. It makes me wonder if this if this mission's supposed to take place in the rain. What the fuck? That was weird and dramatic. I got a bad sense about this man. Richie needs to work his shit out with Georgie. Well, he ain't got no fucking chores. Cause if he don't, we fuck like your mama on prom night. For show, sure, man. For show. Sure. For show. Sure. Better get back to it before Bobby starts hollering again. All right then. Watch your ass down there. All right then. Well, y'all just stand there and leave that sniper rifle to me. All right, y'all. Okay, I'm. I'm waiting. Okay, I'm just making sure that guy's completely on the ground. Take cover here, which I I can't. It's like I choked him, and, like, I stabbed him. Isn't that crazy? Okay, there's a couple of dudes there. Should I grab this? I guess I can just use the pistol for now. It's kind of crazy how it kept the fact that I didn't reload last time. 
Alright, we're heading down because I'm, I'm thinking those guys are going to be a... Uh... How do I get down from here? Okay. I just kind of like slightly nudge it. I need to make sure... Th I'm pretty sure these guys are going to separate at some point. Damn. <laughs> this is a pretty cool fucking place to... To, to put a level in. Piss off that man and niggers and not expect some kind of response. It's one cool. Fuck this. After all the fucking up Richie done, could be George's boys. No matter if it's one coon or 50 grease balls, only thing you worry about is the one motherfucker in front of you. I'm going. Holler if you see something. Okay. Uh. <coughs> Whistle, bruh. Huh? Searching is one. Come over here. Oh, man. His body's just floating there now. There's no gators here. That'd be totally dangerous. It'd be like a golf course. I mean, light doesn't play into stealth either in the game, I don't think. Welcome to Baron Saturday's Fun Park. We're sure happy to have you with us today. So put your troubles aside and enjoy yourself. Baron Saturday's? Well, there's a dude up. Wow, everybody's here, dude. Just one at a time. That's what we're gonna be doing. I don't think there's anybody else here. Can I go on right on the carousel? Is there anything secret in here? That's a negative. Alright, let's head inside. Switch to our pistol. What the ass? What is that? Hey, why did the music just randomly stop? Somebody just turn it off with the switch? Okay. Alright, that'll be it for this episode of Mafia 3. If you all made it this far, thanks for watching. And as always, take care and Tengu230 out. Alright y'all, game on everybody, and keep smiling.